my name is Luke and today I'll be talking about my workspace and my kind of lounge area, this area right here on this wall. I will be talking about how I want to build my fold down table or on this wall. So I'm just going to talk about my kind of space design right here because this is a space I'm going to spend a lot of my time in. So in this area, I'm thinking of having maybe a full chair like I have in this corner right here. Or in that corner and that corner, I'm thinking of having maybe um, two small audubons with storage inside. So you can use them as footrests or you can use them as seating. Or I will buy like a long audubon and I'll just have it sit against that wall. Um, here is where I'm still designing. Um, this desk that will fold down, I want to be a really nice desk because I feel like I'll be doing a lot of work in here, like homework, and this is where I'll be eating and stuff like that. So I want it to fold off this wall or that wall right there, and I'll show you my thoughts. So I was first looking at having my desk fold down on this wall right here, but if that was, I would be facing towards this wall and I'd be looking at a blank white wall. Instead, I'm thinking of having it fold down from this wall. So it would be up on the wall and it would fold down. So I would be able to sit on the back side of it, look through my windows, and look through this window, and it'll feel a lot bigger because I'll look at my whole house instead of just looking at a normal blank wall. So if I had it on this wall, I would have it fold up and then fold down maybe and I'm not sure if I want it to go across the whole way and lock in somewhere down here or I want to go to like right here and have legs come down so I'm still in the planning phase but if I were to do it on this wall I could build cabinets and then have the the uh, table fold up and cover the cabinets so I'd have more storage but I still don't want to look at a blank wall I don't know if I'll build a small little desk up here that can go on the wall so I can do work in my loft, but I don't think I'll be doing much work in my loft just because it's so small, but the window is looking very nice when it's trimmed. So my grandma finished all the curtains, and what was nice of her to do is since they're all the same curtain, she labeled them, so this is the front window, so this one will go on this window, you have this extra, extra uh, curtain rods goes there and let's see how it looks the first time I put them in they were we were just making sure they all fit but now they're all sewed up and everything it's always hard to put them through there we go So the front curtains are in, the door curtain and the front window curtain are in, and it's so weird being inside the house when you can't see out a window, and it's a lot brighter in here because the lights are not going outside. This curtain is also in and it fits perfectly in the window. The loft one is in, and if you're wondering, all you have to do is slide them over and they just sit right along there and so now you can look out the window. You can make a hook um, and take this and hook it over but I don't see that as an issue. I have all my lights on inside and you can barely see the light. These black curtains are really good at blocking the light out. You can go right up to them and you won't be able to see them or see through them. It's also really good at keeping light out. Pitch black in here. Except for the little red light to the heater. 
I think in today's video I'll try out this wood filler and see how well it works. So I brought some paper towels and some gloves um, to my house. And so I'm going to do a squirt some on my uh, glove. And I'm just going to try to fill in those holes. Like I said, I don't know if this is going to work, but it can't hurt. So I'll get back to you and see how it works. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a little um, on top of the hole and then kind of pushing it in there and then I take a paper towel, wipe over it, and it covers it in. So I just finished this window. You can see that you can't see any of like the nail marks, especially down here where there was a lot of them. Now I'm going to try to do these ones in the corner trim. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference because it's on camera, but I can certainly tell the difference. It looks way nicer and way cleaner. You don't see any of the staple marks from the bread nailer. If you want to see how this stuff was installed, go watch um, Finishing Touches. That's the title of the video. If you guys are wondering why I have not painted um, underneath my loft in this shelf, is because it's winter here in Iowa and if I had if I were to paint right now like paint this ladder I would have to make sure there's ventilation in here also I would have to have it above 50 degrees so I'd have to leave the heaters on all night without me in here which I just don't feel comfortable with and plus it would be easier for it was summertime because I'd be able to paint um, during the day um, and just leave the windows open and not worry about heating or anything like that I really do like these curtains. Um, as you saw in the beginning of this video when I did not have these curtains, the light from these two windows was coming in at over there and it was like making the whole shot so you could basically not see anything. So I'll be able to make better videos without trying to control light that I can't control. And so I can just shut all the curtains and control my own light so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. If you guys are wondering why I have two heaters, um, I don't need two heaters for this house. I just have this heater that goes down here for our construction because we're doing most of our construction down here. The loft is finished so I just have that fireplace heater up there for looks and I don't want it in my room because it's meant for this house. So when this house is done and is built, I'll take this one out and put it in our garage. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you liked it and um, I will not be filming with this camera. I just used it because my camera was dead. This is my dad's T DSLR T5, if you're wondering. Um, I hope it looks better than my other camera, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.